Hey everyone, now welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about a new tool that I discovered called Rocket.new. And I know there are many Vibe tools that are, you know, being released and you can't really tell the difference between all of them. But I really like this particular one because it kind of is a combination between the simplicity that Lovable brings to new users or to beginners with the sophistication of a tool like Replit, right? Where you have control of the code as well. And you can not only build web apps, but you can also build mobile apps and put them into the app store. And in the homepage over here, you can see that it supports Flutter, it supports HTML, Next.js, React code. And it also has a bunch of different integrations that will help you get your app released to the public as soon as today. But before we dive into this, I want to, you know, kindly invite you guys to my Discord community. It's a free community. We have a bunch of different startup founders, developers, designers in there hanging out. We do live calls every single day. So if that's something interesting for you guys to join, please feel free to click on that link in the description. But anyways, here in this main call to action, we can choose between a web app, mobile app. Uh, we have also internal tool, which I find really interesting, website, dashboard, and landing page. And you can find a bunch of different you know, use cases of what has been built with Rocket. People have basically built communities that, like this one in, in, in South Korea. People have built dashboards like this La Muralla one, where you can basically track different sprints and it's kind of like a internal CRM system. You also have different mobile apps like this one, for example, you can basically take a picture, you can analyze the image and then there's some type of AI happening in the background. And there's of course, you know, different multi-page marketing websites for different um, companies, right? But obviously what I find impressive are these different things, right? The ones that are, you know, require a type of authentication system, have a specific backend, um, like a community, for example. And again, you don't have to start off in this call to action in, over here in the, in the homepage. You can also start off with one of the templates that are, you know, you can find up here. Once you click that, you can see different landing page templates, different web app templates, different brand websites, internal tool, web apps, mobile apps, dashboards, and for example, if we zoom in here, you can see it says 750K savings, 1 million save savings. And what that means is that it takes around 1 million tokens to actually build this gym management mobile app. But if you use this template, you can you, you don't have to waste any of your credits, right? You, it's basically there for free. So, so that's basically a nice little thing to keep in mind when, when using this uh, tool. And something that Rocket has that I think is extremely valuable is this documentation, right? And under the documentation, you can read a lot about, you know, getting started, uh, the app studio integrations, but we also have prompt engineering and, you, and there's this, you know, specific document that's, that's called get started with prompting. So actually before I get started with building something, I'm going to get this, this doc and feed it into ChatGPT so that we can actually build out a nice prompt for our app. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT with this new agent mode that just came out. Can you please help me create a prompt using the best practices of this prompting, prompting documentation? So I just pasted it over here for an internal tool at my business that gives me an overview of my YouTube comments and help me, helps me reply with AI. I know that I'm, I've been pretty. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and submit this. Look at this. It gave me a nice response, worked for one minute. If I click on this, you can kind of see the history of how it worked, right? I can just go like this and kind of view all the different steps. And then it gives, it gives me a summary of how to actually you know, structure this prompt, what not to do and what to do. And it suggested me a prompt. So let's just use this. So going back here, I'm going to click on internal tool and I'm going to paste this in here and you could attach an image reference, but we're going to do that later. And over here, you can choose if you want it to be public or private, right? Private, you'd have to have a paid account, but in this case, let's just choose public. Let's go ahead and submit this. And this is where things start to get interesting, right? So you give it a prompt it understands your prompt and then it's going to ask you different questions in order to build it as efficiently as possible in terms of credits and also in terms of tech stack. So it's asking me what type of format I want. Is it a web app or mobile app? I'm going to choose web app. So it says I'll begin with our default framework. You can customize the framework if you want. So it says React, JavaScript, Tailwind, CSS. That sounds good. You could, you could click on Customize Framework, but I'm just going to use this default one because I trust the AI on this. All right, and now it says select the screens you wish to build from the list below. Token consumption is directly related to the number of screens generated. So just to keep that in mind. So for example, if you have a free plan, try before you fly, which I you know suggest you, you use before you actually start to buy this. You have a 1 million one-time token credit, and that should be enough to build out some type of, you know, some app or maybe two, because going back to these templates, as you can see, 
some of them are 750, some of them are 1 million. So, you know, you can, you can kind of build one or two apps. So in this case, I'm just going to choose these two out of all of them. Maybe I'm going to choose this brand voice configuration and click on build my internal tool. And as you can see, I've spent around 600K token. So that's just, you know, for you to kind of understand. All right. And Rocket basically built the three pages one by one. So the comment management dashboard, we have the reply workspace up here and we have the brand voice configuration page. It gives us like a brief summary about each page, gives us the different files. You can actually view the code, the code over here. And then what I really love is that it asks you for your open AI API key. So it understands that we need this open AI key. So what we have to do is go into our open AI dashboard and under API keys, create a new API key, create a new secret key like this. And then we can go ahead and just paste that in here, click on continue. And once it's connected, it gives us this little green check mark um, that it says it's connected to open AI. And let's say that we want to change the design a little bit. What we can do is basically add an image reference over here. And I can go into something like magic path and just double click here paste this initial prompt from ChatGPT. I'm gonna choose a specific design system that I like and then click on submit. And then ask us a question, do you want it like a table view, card layout or another format? I'm gonna say table view, uh, but we also want the following tabs. So I'm just gonna choose the three tabs that we got from Rocket. Then we're gonna click on submit. All right, and we get a nice minimal design. So what I wanna do is I wanna kind of get this design and bring this over to Rocket. And how I'm gonna do that? Well, I'm just gonna take a few screenshots I could also export this as an image. So that's what I'm going to do. And then inside of Rocket, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach the image and I'll ask Rocket to make the app look like this particular style. All right. And now we have that design style that we made in Magic Path over here. So it's very simple to kind of create different designs, bring in different design references and apply them to your actual full stack app here in Rocket. And similar to other types of, you know, vibe coding tools, you can choose this little select to edit button up here and maybe select something like this and ask the chat to change the color, to change, you know, the, the shape. And as you can see, I can hover over all of these different sections and it's pretty much the same thing. Just make sure you, you select the, the proper section and use other tools like Claude or like ChatGPT to help you with technical uh, descriptions and and uh, instructions. And once you're done, once you're you know satisfied, you could go ahead and you know add an authentication. You can connect Stripe to collect payments. Uh, you can connect this to Superbase to resend. There's a bunch of different integrations like I showed you in the beginning. But if you click on the code and you go over here, you can connect it. You can push it into GitHub. So you can connect your GitHub like this, and in just seconds, it opens a new repository inside of GitHub where you can actually go ahead and open this inside of something like Cursor, for example. And if you want to connect, for example, Superbase or Netlify, just go ahead and switch these on. They're going to open the new links, but basically they're going to take you to the to authorize this. Click on authorize over here, click on authorize over here. And then once you connect to Netlify, for example, you can just go ahead here, click on publish, and then it's automatically going to publish inside of your Netlify account, which makes it super easy to connect to a custom domain. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. As you can see, it combines kind of like the simplicity of Lovable, but also it has that sophistication of, of a tool like Replit, for example. And the best part is that it integrates with these third party tools so easily. So without further ado, try this out, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and try to build something with the free version. I'd be super curious to see what you guys build in the free version. If you guys do build something, feel free to join my Discord and share that with me. But anyways, hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.